guys welcome to another video today I'm going to uh, try to explain a little concept I call uh, the pre-roll and it's uh, basically when you're in city streets going stoplight to stoplight you uh, basically try to predict the green and give yourself a little cushion in front of you that you can start rolling before the traffic actually starts moving in front of you. So like right now, I've got one, two, three, four, plus a trailer, five cars in front of me. Two of them at least are turning right. There's a bicycle on the sidewalk uh, looking to get across. So yeah, there's an advanced green there. And once that advanced green is done, then traffic's going to go green for my way. That cyclist is going to cross the road. These two cars in front of me might be going slow, but we're going to try to get in as many gear shifts as possible to keep up with the flow of traffic. Basically, just trying to get yourself rolling as fast as possible. That countdown just ended, but the light is still green. I hate when they do that. If you have the countdown, turn yellow at the zero. That's what we're predicting. Don't leave it as a stale green. That is the worst. I hate that so much. Anyways. Um, that particular example back there, the red light, I could have actually started rolling a little bit farther, or a little bit sooner. Um, the uh, people turning right didn't actually take as long as I was expecting. But at the next red light, we're, uh, we're going to try again. Um, like a lot of this concept stems from, uh, actually, yeah, some of the roads in Michigan, the traffic lights are uh, timed in a block. So you have the light go green, and you get this whole block of traffic that flows through, and um, the light stays green all the way along for this block of traffic. But if you aren't quick enough on the gun, like in a truck and it takes forever for you to accelerate you actually end up behind the block and you get nicked with every red light there can be so um that's kind of where i started doing the pre-roll is to leave a gap in front and as soon as that light turns green you start rolling and gunning through the gear so you can stay with the block and stay with the green lights actually getting a lot of green lights which is uh, kind of nice but uh, up ahead there's a, a Costco on the left and it's three or four lights that aren't timed with each other and it's just a massive pile of traffic and you're guaranteed to be stopped by at least one of those lights so we'll see what happens So the advance for this light coming at us just finished, so the light turned green. Now I'm gonna predict that traffic's gonna be rolling. I don't know what this motorcycle's gonna do. By the time I get up here, I'm coming in hot. Better accelerate, guys. Ah. <laughs> Not quite. Now this bus, he's probably, yeah, he's probably going to merge in after I am because he doesn't have a signal on. That's nice. Nicely appreciated for the traffic. But now, here we go. We're coming up to a red light here. I'm looking at this Audi. He's, uh, 
Audi or this guy, he might want the space in front of me. But yeah, so we got quite a few cars in front of us. The advance just turned, so we got a couple seconds before it turns green. So I'm gonna hang back here. There it's green. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars in front of us. Keep it rolling. Keep rolling. So as of yet, we have, except for the first light, we have yet to stop at a red light. And we're staying with the block. Not that these lights are timed with it. This is where things are going to get messy. This guy's going to want this spot. When my brakes get hot, they let out that little squeaky noise, even with the lightest pressure. So we have this steamers guy in front of us, um, and no one in front of him. Oh, come on, pick a gear. So I'm gonna leave just a little bit of a gap and I can actually see this light for the uh, cross traffic. And I'm thinking just a little bit after it turns yellow, I'm gonna start going for it. And ours, yeah, there's no advance for the other way. So as soon as that turns yellow, we should be able to start rolling. And uh, if he's on the ball and goes on the green, there, it just turned yellow. We should be able to go. Come on, change, 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 change. Go, 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 go. <laughs> well, we got one gear shift in. Oh, this is gonna be a mess. I don't know if we're even gonna make it on this green. Um, the crosswalk still says walk, so we have, I think with it, this one's 24 seconds before it changes. Now it would have been nice if I had a little bit of a gap there and I could actually see what the traffic's doing in front of me. And I could have got a little bit of a pre-roll because this is what happens when you don't do that, is you start going and you're slow. Six, five, four, three, two, I'm probably gonna go anyways, because it's a truck. Yeah, I technically could have stopped for that, but we're going. <laughs> oh, 13 seconds on this crosswalk, we're golden. could have stopped at that stop sign or that stoplight back there but um, you know the the amount of traffic that I held up turning left um, is not as much traffic as I would have held up being stopped at that light and trying to get going again that whole row of traffic behind me would have been held up and not so many people could make it through the light so I mean, yeah, the oncoming left turn had to wait a second or two for me, but uh, in the grand scheme of things, it helped traffic move a lot better in the long run. We are just winning with these green lights right now, though. So this next light coming up here, I can pretty much guarantee we're going to get it red, even though it's green right now. Um, and it's on an uphill. Actually, it's still walk, so we might actually still get it green. Traffic's moving slowly in this lane, though. I'm hoping I can keep momentum here. But, um, yeah, this shot, if I get stopped for this light, it's one big, slow, gradual uphill 
25 seconds on the countdown. We're golden. But even now, I'm in fifth gear. I can go into five high. But I'm carrying a whole lot more momentum than I would if I got that um, if I got that light red. But this countdown here is already at 11 seconds, so we're probably going to get nicked by that. Yeah, we're getting nicked by this one, so I'm not even going to try to push it. See, the countdowns on the crosswalk are the best thing they did for traffic lights. Knowing when the light is going to change makes such a big difference. Now, here I'm leaving what is that, a car and a half length gap? The light just turned yellow, so I can start rolling. Yeah, one, two-ish gear changes before uh, getting up to the crosswalk. See, if I pulled up to the crosswalk at the light, I would have to wait for the light to turn green and then start in low gear and miss those first couple gear shifts. I'd be probably a truck length or two behind already in just this little distance without doing that pre-roll. Looks like traffic. Oh, I see brake lights. We just got it red. So, we're on an uphill. There's one car going straight, one car turning right. Now there's no pedestrians looking across in front of this guy turning right. Um, so I'm gonna hold back right about here. I can't quite see that light, but there's at least one car in the advance. So I think this light triggers with one car. So there should be an advance coming the other way. Yeah, traffic stop there. Yep, they get an advance. So if they have one car, oh there, it just turned. Okay, let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, I could have jumped the gun a little bit sooner on that, but uh, I mean, it's the way it goes, right? Yeah, knowing that there was only one car in the advance lane, uh, it was going to be a short advance. But with that uphill, if I gun it too quick and end up on the bumper of the uh, guy in front of me and have to stop, then oh, it takes forever to start getting going again. We got some traffic in front of us for this light, so I'm gonna hang back here, just turn green, stay in that lane. Oh, we're still cut off by one guy. So we're rolling here, but the next light is still red. Uh, we're not gonna block this intersection, it's still, there we go. All right, roll people, go, go, go. I don't wanna, mm, we're slowing down. Oh, come on, go. And that convertible in front of us, he was just, just a little bit late on getting off the line from the traffic in front of him. And it was enough for me to drop a couple gears. doing this you always have to expect that the car in front of you can for whatever reason just slam on the brakes so you don't want to be going too fast too close to the guy in front of you that if he ends up slamming on the brakes or gets scared by your big grill coming towards him that he just slams on the brakes and you run into the back of him you don't want to do that so always play it with a little bit of caution Now 
this light here, the crosswalk still walks, so we should make it through, but the next one we're almost guaranteed to be dinged for. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> okay, countdown, it's green, but the countdown started on something. I think that's, what do we got? Five, four, three, the guy in front of us is breaking, we're screwed. Yeah. Okay, so again here, we're gonna start a little bit back from the line. Hopefully we're not blocking any driveways, no one trying to get through. I'm looking at that second driveway back there, like back behind us. Um, just making sure no one's trying to merge in and me leaving this gap in front is holding them up because this lane beside us is completely empty. I don't know why the two cars are behind me. Like you're just wasting time unless you're turning right, right here. So there's a couple pedestrians there, but no one's turning right in front of us. This light's about to turn yellow, just turned yellow. Now, four cars in the advance, so they're gonna get an advance. And yeah, there's a green light, an advanced right turn for these guys that's lit up at the same intervals. We're gonna jump the gun just a little bit on that. It just turned yellow. So it's gonna go ding and green. And we're two gears into the intersection on the line. start counting down and uh, and cut you out. You'll get another red. Oh, this one's counting down already. It just turned yellow. So I don't know how much traffic's going to be going for that, but we're just going to kind of take her easy. I'm hoping the guy behind me, he's not looking to turn right here because I'm going to be holding him up. But I just want to keep momentum going. Okay, still green. Is it yellow? I think it just turned yellow. Nope. I can't tell. Red? Green. Yeah, there. through these lights and then uh, yeah waiting for it to change there's no advance coming towards us that light just turned yellow red green <laughs> uh, oh crap I'm in the wrong gear no acceleration come on Fifteen, fourteen. 
yeah, we're gonna make it through that light. I'm just gonna sneak this spot right here. Thank you. And we made the light green. Nice. If we stayed in the left lane there, and we're right up to the car behind or in front of us, then by the time we get through low, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, start splitting the gears, probably wouldn't have made that light and we'd be stuck sitting there and try to accelerate again but here we're just carrying momentum and uh, that's the last traffic light before the 400 series up ahead here so uh, I'm gonna leave it at that um, what do you guys do for uh, trying to carry momentum or at least deal with traffic lights like how do you drive through the city let me know uh, your tips and techniques and uh, we'll have a good discussion <laughs> anyways catch you in the next one guys see ya